Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I am the editor of sparpointgroup.com. I'm here at Spar Europe in The Hague with Tim Lemon from Trimble. How are you doing, Tim? Very good, Tim. So Tim, first of all, it's just what do you actually do for Trimble? I know Trimble's a big company. Yeah, so I'm marketing director for Trimble's oil, gas, and chemical division. Okay. Uh, so within that, we have two, two roles. One is to expand out the oil and gas vertical, and the other one is to look after the terrestrial 3D laser scanners. Right, well, this is the kind of uh, topic of the moment right here. Uh, I've gotten a lot of response back just in terms of page views on the story about the new scanner and the relationship with Faro. But tell me how you know, your customer base is reacting. You know, what's the feedback you've gotten initially? Uh, it's been very positive. So we've had a, a busy time since the introduction at Intergeo. So it was about three weeks ago. And um, then last week we were in Vegas for our Trimble Dimensions conference. So yeah, got a, a lot of attention as you reported in your spa view, <laughs> most certainly at Dimensions. And yeah, then again here at Spa Europe. So it's been a busy time. Lots yeah, well, so you've had a, obviously a lot of chance to, to get that feedback. What's the sort of maybe most common, you know, aha moment or thing they say, you know, I can use it for this right now. What's their sort of, you know, first kind of idea that's on the top of their head? Um, a lot of that is for survey and also building construction. So a lot of the, the BIM integration work that we've been working on for a number of years. Um, yeah, this is a, a very good device to capture a large amount of data for fit into the BIM model. Sure. So it's been good from that perspective. And so just talk a little bit about how, you know, it's not like you guys are brand new to laser scanning. You know, how does it fit into the, you know, the different striations and, you know, does this mean you're not going to sell the other laser scanners? I'm assuming not. So, you know, how do, what fits for which person? Um, so yeah, so it depends very much on the application. Uh, the Trimble TX5 is great for uh, general purpose applications and also BIM. Uh, then we have the Trimble FX, uh, which is off screen. Uh, very good for industrial applications. Uh, still uh, produces the highest uh, clarity, accuracy, data. Then we have the Trimble VX, uh, which is very good for a surveyor looking to get into 3D laser scanning and imaging technologies. So wide portfolio, uh, depending on what level you're at with regard to scanning, how comfortable you are with it, and the type of application you wish to apply it to. Sure, and that sort of obviously must have played into your thinking here. You want to make sure you've got the full portfolio, you can offer something to you know every type of customer, makes sense. Correct, yeah, we have a, a Within Trimble, we have a very broad set of customers and most certainly want to provide them with the best possible solution that we can as a, as a manufacturer. So. Sure. Now, one of the things that's a kind of a theme here, you know, this isn't necessarily related to, you know, a product that you make specifically, but, um, you know, obviously you're in oil and gas and, you know, you have those customers out there. Uh, you know, this idea of, you know, the point cloud as the model or, you know, getting away from modeling a little bit. You know, what, what kind of role does Trimble play in that? And, you know, what, is, what are some of your just general ideas or discussions you're having with customers about, you know, kind of getting more information attached to that point cloud? Yeah, so uh, within Trimble, our history has been um, through Bitwise when we acquired Bitwise, I think in 2004, 2005. So in that time frame, yeah, it was very much centered around using the point cloud directly as opposed to using the model. But for sure, when we interact with our customers, there's customers that are doing both. Some customers want to use a point cloud directly as the most efficient way. Um, other customers want to use the CAD model itself. So sure. from our perspective, we have to support our customers using both different workflows. Absolutely. So yeah, we do modeling inside of our software. Um, and a lot of our point cloud data can be integrated into other softwares for any additional modeling that right. you want to It go almost on. sounds too obvious to say out loud, but really it's about what the customer wants. You know, you need to support their particular workflow as much yeah. as you can, yeah? Correct, yes, yeah. exactly, yep. Yeah. Well, you know, hopefully we'll uh, see these customers uh, be, you know, one of my things is uh, I think it really empowers the asset owner to, you know, know more about their facility and to, you know, make better decisions about their facility and, you know, obviously that's a goal of Trimble's. Yep, most certainly. Um, and yeah, our customers, are, whether they're on the survey or the building construction side, um, or in, within oil and gas, capturing that information, having good, accurate information, and using it for projects. Yeah. yeah, imperative. Well, they can learn more about that by coming to SPAR next year, right? Exactly, of course. <laughs> Great show. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Thanks, Tim, for being here. I appreciate it. No problem. And we'll see you next time.